Dan Hanjun, Senior Spy for China's MSS, still active. Introduction In this expose, we delve into the intricate web of espionage woven by the Chinese Communist Party CCP, focusing on the enigmatic figure of Yan Hanjun. Join us as we uncover the evidence that has led to his identification as the high ranking operative within the CCP's sinister state security apparatus. Yan Hanjun's espionage activities or investigation reveals that Yan Hanjun's involvement with the CCP's state security apparatus spans decades. From 1994 to 2002, he served as an active agent within the Henan Provincial State Security Department. During this tenure, he engaged in the illicit sale of 40小时 Ali classified documents to Taiwan's military intelligence agency, amassing a staggering HK 4.4 million million in the process. The documents Yan Hanjun sold to Taiwan may be false intelligence designed to mislead the United States and Taiwan and profit from it. This blatant breach of trust and national security underscores Yan Hanjun's deep-rooted allegiance to the CCP. Yan Hanjun's arrest and ongoing espionage. In 2019, Yan Hanjun's espionage activities caught up with him when he was apprehended by Beijing's State Security Bureau. This arrest serves as irrefutable proof that he remains an active agent within the CCP's clandestine network. Despite his claims to the contrary, the CCP's espionage tactics, the case of Yan Hanjun provides a chilling glimpse into the CCP's sophisticated espionage tactics. The organization operates a vast network of operatives who infiltrate foreign societies under the guise of defectors or dissidents. These agents are tasked with collecting sensitive intelligence, influencing public opinion, and undermining national security. Yan Hanjun's so-called anti-communist rhetoric was merely a facade, a carefully crafted deception designed to lull his targets into a false sense of security. His true mission was to penetrate American society, establish connections with influential figures, and gather intelligence that could be exploited by the CCP. The CCP's Exploitation of Espionage The CCP's espionage network serves multiple nefarious purposes. It enables the regime to collect intelligence, gather information on foreign governments, military capabilities, and economic strategies, destabilize adversaries, undermine the stability of rival nations by fomenting unrest and discord, gain control, suppress dissent, and maintain its grip on power within China. The future of Yan Hengzhen Yan Hengzhen's fate remains uncertain. His arrest may be a strategic move by the CCP to conceal his true identity and pave the way for his eventual release. This would allow him to continue his espionage activities under the radar, posing a persistent threat to hostility national security. Some commentators' analysis think Yan Hengzhen as an active agent within the CPC's state security apparatus provides evidence to support this claim. Yan Hengzhen's tenure as a staff member of the Henan Provincial State Security Department from 1994 to 2002, his illicit sale of 40 classified documents to Taiwan's military intelligence agency for approximately HK 4.4 million million. Yan Hengzhen's arrest by Beijing's State Security Bureau in 2019 is an indication that he remains a CCP operative despite his claims to the contrary. The commentator suggests that these factors collectively demonstrate Yan Hengzhen's status as a CCP agent and that his arrest may have been prompted by the exposure of his identity or operational failures. Unique insights The CCP's espionage network operates as a closed and hierarchical system with members unable to break away once inducted. Yan Hengzhen's purported anti-communist rhetoric is merely a facade a guise adopted by CCP agents to infiltrate foreign societies and gather intelligence. Yan Hengzhen's suspended death sentence is a strategic move by the CCP, allowing him to continue serving their interests abroad. Many individuals who have spoken out in support of Yan Hengzhen are themselves CCP agents. Yan Hengzhen's activities overseas were part of a CCP mission to establish contacts with influential figures and collect intelligence. The documents Yan Hengzhen sold to Taiwan may have been intentionally misleading and aimed at deceiving the United States and Taiwan while gaining their trust. Yan Hengzhen's case exemplifies how CCP agents can long-term disguise themselves as anti-communist dissidents 
employing various tactics to infiltrate and undermine adversarial nations. The CCP leverages its espionage network to gather intelligence, destabilize hostile countries, and maintain its own political power. Yan Hanjun's arrest serves to conceal his true identity and facilitate his eventual release. Yan Hanjun is a high-ranking operative within the CCP's state security apparatus and continues to serve the organization. Yan Hanjun's activity abroad are part of the CCP's strategy of infiltration and intelligence gathering. Yan Hanjun's arrest is a calculated move by the CCP to prepare for his future release. Conclusion The case of Yan Hanjun exposes the insidious nature of the CCP's espionage network. It is a stark reminder of the lengths to which the regime will go to maintain its power and influence. As we navigate the treacherous landscape of international relations, we must remain vigilant against such covert threats. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.